Alright, what I want to do in this video is now take a look at mannose metabolism. And it turns out that mannose is going to, is, is like if, you, if you've watched the, the fructose video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But mannose is one of those monosaccharides that enters before PFK. So mannose is under the same control that glucose is under. And as we'll see, um, mannose enters in a point that's different than galactose. It's different from glucose. So mannose is just different. Okay. And let me get my brush. Okay, here we go. So essentially what's going to happen right here, and now I want you to notice something also. Notice the, and I'll do it in a different color, notice the stereochemistry at this carbon, okay? In glucose, that hydroxyl group would have been pointing down, right? It would have been pointing down. But mannose is what they call an epimer, is an epimer of glucose and that just means that it has a it differs at the stereochemistry at one carbon so now do it in a different color you know just doing this because so there's space now you have mannose 6-phosphate so this right here is mannose 6-phosphate and as we'll see in just a minute mannose 6-phosphate is going to get consumed and actually hold on let me actually scroll over to the right to do this scroll over mannose 6-phosphate is going to oops mannose 6-phosphate is going to be consumed by an enzyme very similar to phosphoglucoisomerase in fact its mechanism is identical but this enzyme is called phospho mannose isomerase. And if you were to look at the organic mechanism, it's basically identical to phosphoglucoisomerase, except for, and I'll get what had mark it again, the stereochemistry at that carbon is different. Okay. And so what it's, what's essentially going to happen with this, oops, that hasn't happened in a while. Uh, essentially what's going to happen with this is you're going to form crapola. You're going to form fructose 6-phosphate. You're going to form fructose 6-phosphate. And while I'm drawing this, let me also just mention, oops, this should be a, oops, let me just, this should be a phosphate. Glad I caught that. So here is fructose 6-phosphate. And, and, and mannose is, is, is not really one that you obtain a lot from the diet, although it is necessary. And what you'll find is that a lot of glycoproteins have mannose in their, in their carbohydrate chains um, that constitute the glycoprotein. So mannose is very common in biosynthesis reactions of carbohydrates. But, it, so, but it's not one of the major catabolic carbohydrates, although there is a catabolic pathway, as we can see. And this is fructose 6-phosphate, right? And so fructose 6-phosphate is then just going to enter glycolysis at that point, okay? So again, this is one of the um, enzyme or one of the, subs, one of the substrates. Mannose is one that enters be uh, before PFK. And while I'm still thinking of it, I forgot to put that this is going to consume an AD ATP. So that's where the that's where it's coming from. So mannose is an epimer of glucose, and it's going to get ultimately consumed by mannose kinase to form mannose 6-phosphate, and then phosphomannose isomerase is going to form fructose 6-phosphate. And essentially, um, Fructose 6-phosphate is just going to go enter glycolysis. So the, there is a, a level of regulation on mannose catabolism, although, like I said, mannose is mostly used in biosynthesis reactions of glycoproteins. So it's not the ma a major source of you know, energy or whatnot. The major sources of energy are going to be fructose and glucose. Obviously, glucose is the more important one, but fructose would be a close second in that race. So I hope this video helped. See you in the next video, and we'll take a look at... Um, we'll take a look at galactose catabolism. See you soon.